in terms of uh, best practices that you can share with organizations who are in the process of initiating their own migration journeys, what would you say to them? Yeah, so, uh, you know, Ataskas is, is kind of a very unique uh, uh, position and also approached uh, this kind of much differently, you know, besides embracing cloud very early. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and having a traditional RPA, we actually uh, use the frontline first approach to get ideas generated for, for all kinds of automation which would be otherwise referred to as a bot and 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 also generating ideas so that we can uh, you know you know deploy automation what we have seen and what we believe is that innovative ideas will come from the front lines uh, you know these are the uh, these are the folks who are working with our customers and uh, also they know the systems and uh, uh, the challenge with that what do you wish you would have known before you started your cloud automation project so uh, I believe we could have accelerated our journey uh, of meaningful automation uh, by, by having in-person awareness sessions, workshops, and modathons, you know, all of which was not possible in a pandemic situation. And uh, combine this with, uh, with a citizen development uh, you know, approach, you know, we could have had a faster adoption uh, you know, within, you know, within our uh, organization with, um, within uh, you know, cloud-based automation projects. So that's what I would, uh, you know, attribute as something that could have done better.